Writing Superstars. Today I'm going to answer the question, how do you canter? Part 1. Okay, so if you're new to cantering, it can be a little bit challenging. I'm not going to use the, word, the S word and say it's scary, but obviously it's a little bit fast, it moves you around, so you don't know quite what to expect and you might be worried that you might just end up falling onto the sand. So the very first thing I think about when I was teaching my husband how to ride in canter was, okay, the first thing is if you ever put a rag doll on a horse, um, especially in canter, the rag doll kind of goes like, oh, it's really hard to do in the walk, but it's being thrown around by the horse's movement. And this horse has a really big canter and he still throws me around. So I have to really make sure um, that I have all my muscles engaged to make sure he can't throw me around. But when you're first learning how to canter, the first step I say is, I know it seems ridiculous, but hang on to the saddle and pull in. What happens is most of you come out of the saddle and start coming out like this. And if you're out of the saddle, how can you stay in it? So I feel very scared up here because I don't have anything to anchor into. So if you grab the, st the, the saddle and pull yourself into it, so even do it in halt, grab that, engage that bicep, engage that shoulder and pull yourself into it, you're going to put yourself into a better canter position because you're gonna tilt your pelvis, you're going to make sure your seat bones plug into the horse and you're going to be here instead of out here. So I'll show you what I mean. So, here's me going, oh God, I hate canter. Oh God, I hate canter. Grab, pull. And it just helps me stabilize where I want my body to be. Makes me feel safe, because if I do lose my balance a little bit, I can pull myself back in. And I've got control. Obviously you'll be on a lunge, or you're on a quiet horse that you can steer like this. Good boy. Good boy. Um, but yes, that's the very first step. There's no harm in hanging on. My husband did a whole safari trek around Africa like this. Oh no, he had the reins. He's filming. Um, so he had the reins and the, the saddle like this. And then he had the other hand out for balance. And this was Phil's riding style all through Africa. And we were galloping up and down hills, chasing bison or God knows what we were doing, cantering with the giraffes. And never once did I worry that he was gonna come off. It wasn't orthodox. If you're looking to be a Grand Prix dressage rider, I would not say stick with this strategy for the next 500 years. But if you're very first canter, there's absolutely nothing wrong if that makes you feel a little bit safer, a little bit more in the saddle, and a little bit more in control.